Hey guys, Earthy here today and I'm going to be showing you how I use my plugins to make YouTube sets or just models or just build in general with the plugins that I use. So, um, sometimes when you're building, you're too lazy to build and you just use free models instead of actually making it yourself. Now, this is okay, I don't really care, but like, as some of you may know that when you use free models, your game may like get a virus or a fire or something inside of it and that can get really annoying. So I put a virus inside this brick just to test this scanner out and it does work. All you have to do is click on this virus scanner, select the parts that you think have the virus and it'll show scan part 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 which are the bricks names. So once you click that it should pull up your scanning results and it'll show you like what the thing is like a script and then the name of it which is a virus or something else so then what you can do is mark or unmark this and it will just be highlighted red and if there are more than one which that can occur you just click mark all and it'll turn red when once it's selected then you close that and go over to remover and you remove the virus or whatever it is then you can close that and you should see that on the right there's no more script inside of it and you're good so that is the virus scanner next sometimes I use the oozle draw and this is basically just like a little um, a curve sort of that hangs down and it's I mean you can use it for street lights or just like bedroom lights or for hanging pictures corduroids whatever those are called and what's really nice is that you can change like the line width if you want it like really thin and you want a like just a few segments you can do that let's do two segments and it's really nice I mean I don't use this a bunch but I have it and I have used it before the more segments you use the cleaner and rounder it will look and the less segments you use the more blocky it will look so next I use the cutscene editor and this is a really helpful tool if you're making like um, music videos or just a scene in a video all you have to do is capture camera position you can change the transition which is like how long it takes to get from one point to another and the field of view is like how close or how far away from that it is and the end rotation is just the rotation of the angle when it reaches that capture so we're just gonna have a starting camera position and it's going to like close up on the face or something and capture that position and rotate to his back so once you have all that you can also scroll down on here and you can click on one of these and say reposition which is like if you went if you looked up too much you can make it look down or if you made it to the side, you can make it to the other side. But you can also reconfigure, and this brings you to the transition configuration, and you can change the transition, the time it takes from one point to another, and rotation in and field of view. So I'll just do a little preview and show you guys what this looks like. So it'll do a nice countdown give you enough time to like start whatever you have to do and it'll close up on your character it's pretty cool it's really smooth and you can just use it for like quick little machinimas or videos that you're making and if you just want to get rid of it just do new cutscene and yes and you can also save cutscenes as like if you want to put it in your game and sip on it you can do that that works okay um, so yeah, that is the cutscene edit. So the next thing I'll be showing you is my model resize. So I like to do unions a lot, and unions are really hard if you're building them really small like this. So actually, I build them in really big scales and just scale them down with this model resize tool. And I built these about this big. And it's really nice because it's super easy to build with when it's bigger and then you can just select the model resize toggle the handles and 
Um, you can also do toggle guy and you can change like show the handles which I have on and it'll just show you like every individual step like one two three blah 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 and yeah and then you can toggle guy and then you can do the percent bar like 50 percent and it'll make it 50 times smaller half and so yeah that's my model resize i use that mostly for unions not really for other things but occasionally i do and the next thing I'm going to show you is a reflect. I use this pretty often when I have to just like reflect something. And um, so you'll ref choose the reflect tool or first click your model, then the reflect tool. Then I'll say select a plane to reflect over by clicking a part's face. So like if you click its side, it's not really going to reflect because that's not its face, obviously. Um, if you click its butt, and you have to, like, reposition this thing, I mean, it'll still, it'll reflect, but that's not technically the head. So, we'll, we'll do it on the head this time, and you'll see that it has a nice reflection, and you can just rotate that to be the same rotation of the other one close enough and yeah I use that mostly when I'm building like animals or something or other and yeah my last 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 plugin that I have to show you guys is what I use mostly for video creation is my cutscenes and oh my gosh this is so helpful because like I don't know about you guys but whenever I'm making a video I'll like move slightly and then I'll just have to redo the entire screen so this is really helpful all you have to do is create a shot for use and you'll see it makes a little one button and if you're recording la 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 and then you move back or like to the side and you're like oh no still have to record more in that point of view all you have to do is click that the cutscene that it saved and then recall a shot and it'll go back, which is so nice. And especially if you're prone to moving around or not holding still in studio. So yeah, I had to record in Camtasia for this because Fraps doesn't record full screen. And I just wanted to show you guys like my entire screen. And so yeah, I hope this helped you. And I mean, if you guys want to see more plugins or have me go over other plugins that maybe I don't have. I would love to do that for you. And yeah, thank you and bye-bye.